हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल इंग्लिश लर्निंग अ न्यू वे टू ग्रैब इंग्लिश सो हियर आई एम बैक विद अ न्यू वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट हाउ टू एनहेंस एंड एन रिच योर इंग्लिश जस्ट बाय यूजिंग थर्टीन फैंटास्टिक इडियम्स सो बिफोर आई गेट इन टू द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग अबाउट वॉट इज इडियम एंड वॉट इट मीन्स टू बी now an idiom is about or an idiom is a group of words which carries a special meaning in the sense idiom holo koyekti word er samosti je guli eti sampurno alada ortho bohon kore orthat word gulir literal meaning na hoye word guli ekotre ekti sampurno alada ortho bohon kore so i think you have kind of understood what is idiom and what it means to be and uh, so i am here to talk about 13 fantastic idioms see there are many 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 more idioms but i am here to talk about only 13 fantastic idioms by using which you can really enhance and enrich your english so let's see what are these 13 fantastic idioms and let's improve and enhance our english english somporke और अनेक अनेक आपडेट पवार चैनल के सबसक्राइब करो और पास बेल आइकन प्रेस करो सो द फार्ष्ट वन अफ द थार्टीन फैंटासटिक इडियम्स इज अल आईज हुईच मीस टू वाच वेरि केयरफुली नाउ यू कैन यूज दिस इडियम वेन एवर यू आर इन सीचुएशन लाइक वैर यू हैव टू वाच वेरि केयरफुली एंड वेरि प्रपारलिू कैन यूज फर एक्साम्पल आई वज इन अ फरेस्ट एंड आई वज दें अल आईज जस्ट टू सी what would happen around me number 2 is all ears which means attentive in the sense you can say that the class was all ears that means the class was all attentive the class was all ears when i was teaching number 3 is at fuel to the flames which means to excite something so It's like that. You can use this idiom whenever you are feeling like having gotten drawn up by someone else or by someone else's anger. For example, you can say that um, your remarks just added fuels to the flames of my anger. Number four is at a pinch, which means in emergency. For example, take this money. because it will help you at your pinch that means it will help you at your emergency time number 5 is leaps and bounds which means very rapidly now example would be you can say that uh, technology is moving very rapidly that means technology is moving leaps and bounds number 6 flesh and blood which means human beings that means we so example you can say among all the animals only and only flesh and blood has the capacity and has the ability to get aware and conscious number 7 cut a sorry figure which means make bad result for example my son or my daughter has cut a sorry figure the next one is gift of the gab which means speaking power in the sense you can say i was mm, kind of taken aback or i was sort of surprised at his gift of the gab next one is get rid of which means to free for example you have to get rid of your addiction to smoking then we have over and over again which means repeatedly in the sense you can say for example why are you disturbing me over and over again that means why are you disturbing me again and again repeatedly so over and over again means repeatedly now then we have well off well off means to be in a good position for example you can say that most farmers in our country are not in well off that means they are not in good position so then we have stones throw which means very near 
For example, your room is within a stone's throw from my house and at last we have red letter day. Now red letter day doesn't mean falling in love or Valentine's Day or something like that. Rather it means memorable day. For example, our independence day is a red letter day for us. So I think these 13 phrases or 13 idioms will help you enhance and enrich your English in a much better way. So thank you so much for giving your valuable times to watch me. And one more thing, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because it gives me more and more energy to make fantastic videos for you. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you so much.